here we have oops, one of innumerable pictures of Revere on his famous ride. We know quite a bit about his ride because Revere wrote about it. He wrote about it at the time and he added information later. We know he was sent for by a man named Dr. Joseph Warren, who was the Patriot leader here in Boston, the last one. And when he got to Warren's house, he found out a couple of things. He found out, number one, that the British troops were about to march to Lexington and Concord, which was no surprise. Everyone here pretty much knew that was going to happen. They just didn't know when. After Revere talked to Warren, he came back here to his own neighborhood, contacted a friend, doesn't say who it was, to set those famous signals. Then he stopped by his house, he picked up his boots and his overcoat. Then he walked up to the waterfront where a couple friends had a small boat hidden behind a wharf. They rode him across the river. He then borrowed a horse from a friend and set off through the countryside. He did not say the British are coming, the British are coming. We don't know what he said at each of the houses along the road, but we do know what he said when he got to Lexington. And the reason we know that is there was a guard on duty outside the house where Samuel Adams and John Hancock were staying. And that guard wrote down what happened. He said that he saw this man ride up. He didn't know Revere. He told him not to make so much noise that everybody in the house was asleep. And Revere apparently got a little annoyed at the man and said, Noise? You'll have noise enough before long. The regulars are coming out, meaning the regular British troops that were stationed in Boston. And he wouldn't have said the regulars, are, he wouldn't have said the British are coming anyway. Anybody know why? Yes. That's right. Everybody here was British. It sounds funny when you say Paul Revere was British. George Washington was British, or Abigail Adams was British for that matter, but they were. These were British colonists. They did use the term Americans, but what they meant by that were the British colonists who were over here. 